Alright, alright. Peace, peace. This is Jada Pina. Um, in today's uh, beat tutorial, I'm going to show you how I layer my drum breaks. Um, as you can see on the screen, I already chopped up my breaks. Um, I'm going to make this video kind of short and sweet. Um, on my first beat tutorial that I did a couple of days ago, or a few days ago, I get more into depth on how I chop and all that. So, um, as you can see, I already got it all chopped up. I'm going to make a new program. Do it. Go to the main. Um, I'm already set up at 94.5 uh, BPM, 16 time correct, 68 swing. I usually make my drums on off, um, but I get a little too meticulous sometimes. I hear things, something sounds a little off, takes me a little bit of time. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to make, um, I'm going to put the time correct on 16 and the swing at 68. All right, let me just make a little pattern real quick, drum pattern. That sounds good. Um, now we're gonna mess with the hi hats. Um, so we're gonna use this hat. All right, I'm gonna put on 16 level velocity. It's just in that go, you know, up down, up down. On my first beat tutorial video, I should I get a little bit more in depth on that. Uh, here we go. Let's record that hat in. Alright, cool. Straight boom bap pattern. Like I don't do boom bap beats. So check it. I am going to be I'm going to layer these breaks with my man Graph Beats Graph Kit. These drums are dope, man. That's my man from Canada, man. You know? Um You could get this kit. On his Instagram site, I think he has the link in his bio. It's a way to get this. Um, his Instagram is Graph Beats, G R A P H B E A T S. Real dope kit. So I got this kick, this hat, and this snare from his kit. All right, we're gonna start layering. So what you do is, this is your kick. My main kick's there. You're gonna press Shift on your keyboard, left click the kick. Bring it in. You see how it's red? Put it underneath. Bang. Listen to that. Let me undo that real quick. This is the regular, the regular kick, which it sounds really dope. You know what I mean? I've used that kick just like that. But when you put that little oomph behind it, it's so crunchy, punchy. You know what I mean? Uh, same thing with the ghost kick. I'm going to grab the ghost kick. Shift. Left click, drag, put it underneath. Now that sounds a little too loud. On uh, my program edit page, I'm going to show you what to do there. Hat. All right? Boom. Same thing. Shift. Left click. Put it underneath. Got a freaking bug in here. Snare, same thing. Shift. Left, ki left click and drag. Boom. Okay? So before I play all out, like I said, I'm going to go to program edit. Now we're going to mess with these, okay? Um, on the edit zone, you want to just do current. You want to do just the sound. Um, if you press all, it's going to, again, on my first beat tutorial video, I show you how to do all that, okay? Go check that out. All right, so the kick. I'm looking for, like, you, you see right here where it says offset. I mean, sometimes when you drop a kick on top of a, 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 a like, a, a kick from a kit and a kick from a drum break, they're a little offset. But this sounds pretty good. Okay? I'm hoping one of these sounds. All right, there you go, right there, the snare. You hear how the snare sounds a little... We want to get that... Um, we want to get that sounding together. This bug is bothering the shit out of me. There we are. I'm going to keep it at like 114 right there. That sounds good. I'm actually going to try to drop the semitone. Let me see. I'm going to drop it down one semitone. 
Mm. That's not like shit. Mm, that sounds all right. All right, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here. Like I said, I could sit here for an hour trying to mess around, but I, I think you get the point. What I am gonna do though on the snare, I'm gonna drop the level down a little bit. That's without it. See, even like, I mean, you just added it like halfway, and it, it just gives it a little, a little different feel. Um, hi hat, same thing. It's not off. I'm not gonna mess with that. But the level's a little too high. I don't want it to overpower the original hi hat. That's the original. I'm gonna put it at like 33. That sounds good. Now with the ghost kick. That's all the way up. Doesn't sound, you know, I mean, you can't really get the feel of it being the ghost kick. You know, the ghost kick is the, the that light kick that comes in before the main. Like, da boom, ba boom, ba boom. You know what I mean? I don't know why I just did that. I'm going to put it right there around at, at like 46. All right. All right, there it is. Let's see how it sounds now. Right, you can hear it. It sounds more crunchy. A little bit more powerful. You know what I mean? Alright, let's do something. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it a little bit more. Um sound a little better. The software here comes with these vintage effects. Now I use the MPC two thousand for twenty plus years. And, you know, coming from the analog sound to the digital, I can hear, I can hear the difference, man. You know what I mean? Like, this sounds too bright, too crispy, too bright. So, I do mess around with the drum. Let me show you real quick. I'm going to get, I'm going to do another video, like, on mixing and, and like, you know, effects and all that. I mean, I don't use third-party plugins or nothing like that. Uh, we'll do another, I'm going to do another video so you can see what I'm talking about. But let's just do this real quick. Let's throw the MPC-60 effect. They don't have, you know, they don't have the MPC-2000 effect, you see? It's a classic. Akai, man. Don't got my baby in here. But anyway, now I'm blabbing. So, you can hear it got a little bit more punchy, right? That's off. Now you can hear it. Boom, boom, right? Now let's do some more. I'm just going to do it real quick. Like I said, I'll do another video on, on all this. Uh, let's add in. All right. It's a low pass filter. It gives it more of a, a muddy sound. A grimier sound to me, you know? Like I said, more analog. I, I'm just trying to manipulate my old machine. See, this is all the way. You hear it? Everything just sounds too bright. I'm gonna drop it down. There we go. That's good. Let's do this real quick. Sorry, guys. Um, and let's add in a compressor. Like I said, oh, I don't use third-party plugins. I'm just using every, all the native plugins that's on this software. Uh, we'll use compressor vintage. Sounds a little grimy. To, and I know, man, like, I mean, I might be doing all this wrong. I, I'm not, like, a mixing master. I just go by my ear, man. You know what I mean? I use my own judgment. Use your own judgment. If you enjoyed this video, you know, follow me on Instagram. Go on my YouTube. Subscribe. I'm trying to get back on my YouTube. I left YouTube for so long. I was off for, like, six years. And I'm um, trying to build that back up. Um... If you guys got any questions again, hit me up. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these videos. I hope you're enjoying them, all right? Um, yeah, man. Jada Pina.